What would you do if you found a piece of American history that is nearly priceless for sale on the Goodwill auction site, shopgoodwill.com? Well, today's story is a feel-good story out of, that's right, the Goodwill store. Actually, their online website, shopgoodwill.com. If you've never heard of it, go visit it. I'll link it down below. I have only purchased one thing off of it personally. I made a few bucks on it. Never really spent the time, never had the time. I know a lot of you that watch this channel do use it to source items right from the comfort of your own office. You can just choop, right on there, shop for it and find cool stuff. Well, this story is about one of the most historical figures in our country, none other than the first president himself, George Washington, our first president, that's right. His item, a piece of his tent from during the Revolutionary War was actually found on shopgoodwill.com and it's authentic. Wait till you see this story. Let me take you over to it and check it out. This is our feel good story of the week because things like this do still happen. It's like the old Declaration of Independence copy that's found behind the artwork. Well, this is one of those things. What would you do if you found this? Check it out. All right, so this story, pretty interesting, pretty cool. I'm a history nerd for anybody who doesn't uh, watch this channel regularly or doesn't know me. I'm super, super history buff. This is a, histor a history enthusiast, excuse me, who finds the artifact belonging to George Washington at Goodwill. Very unusual. And this fabric was cut from one of George Washington's tents in 1907. Well, clearly George Washington didn't leave or live until 1907. However, wait till you see the story and you'll see where it came from. You'll follow me on this. Stay with me here. So the artifact originally belonged to President George Washington, recently landed in the hands of a Virginia history enthusiast and then a museum, all thanks to Goodwill. The piece is currently on display in the Museum of American Revolution in Philadelphia. Collector Richard Dana Moore stumbled across the artifact, which is a six inch long piece of linen fabric from Washington's dining marquee or tent on Goodwill's auction site. That is shopgoodwill.com. Again, I'll link it down below. This is not a paid endorsement by Goodwill. They don't pay me. I'm just telling the story. The fabric was auctioned off with a note that read a piece of George Washington's tent from the History Building at Jamestown Exposition 1907, property of John Burns, December 23rd, 1907. So this was part of a, a display, some kind of show. The guy owned it and somehow it ended up uh, at Goodwill. Probably never know how that happened, right? We never know how any of this cool stuff ever ends up at Goodwill. How do these Declaration of Independence end up in the back of artwork? How do these crazy 3,000-year-old Ming Dynasty uh, vases end up in Salvation Army? How does this happen? Somebody tell me. While most of Moore's collection is made up of Civil War artifacts, he also accumulated pieces from the American Revolution and the War of 1812 over the years through metal detecting. During an interview with Fox News Digital, the history buff said that he thought the piece couldn't be real at first. And then they show a picture, him and his wife here, and then uh, the piece of fabric, which you can see, it's just six inches, not very big, and it's got this red outline there. People are going to make uh, some jokes. I already know, uh, see it, hear it coming from that uh, little piece I just said there. <laughs> Leave it alone, y'all. Leave it alone. When he zoomed in, the fabric looked authentically old, he explained. The brief handwritten note uh, referencing the Jamestown Exposition of 1907, which was attached with a rusty pen, added to the feeling of the age. My gut kept telling me this could be real. Feeling that the piece was special, Moore bought the fabric on the auction site for $1,300. So he definitely took a gamble, right? Like this was a $1,300 gamble. If this was fake, this was inauthentic, uh, it's worth the paper it's printed on, right? Moore explained that after buying the piece, he felt overwhelmed about being responsible for such an important artifact of history. He waited to tell his wife, Susan Bowen, about the purchase, which she was initially skeptical about. I would have been too. I'm skeptical anything's real, especially when it just shows up at Goodwill. I assumed it couldn't be real until over a year later when we watched an online presentation for the Museum of the American Revolution, Bowen explained to Fox News Digital. That's what prompted us to reach out to them. So they actually reached out to the museum. Good on them for doing that. Matthew Skick, don't reach out to a dealer. They'll tell you it's fake and buy it for five bucks and then they'll make all the money. Matthew Skick is the curator at the museum and he told Fox News Digital that the fabric was cut as a souvenir while the marquee was on display in 1907. As the note confirms, the canopy made an, uh, an appearance at the Jamestown Exposition of that year. So pretty cool, about 100 and some odd years, 130, 140 years later, um, the pieces on display and somebody somehow cut a piece of it off. So 
Don't know if that was allowed or if they stole it or cut it illegally or somebody that owned it gave them a piece of it and cut it off. Don't know. At that time, Mary Custis Lee, Martha Washington's, that's George's wife, great-great-granddaughter and da daughter of Robert E. Lee owned Washington tents from the Revolutionary War, he added. She put the dining marquee on loan to the exposition. So his great-great-granddaughter, George Washington and Martha Washington's great-great-granddaughter, who also just happened to be the daughter of Robert E. Lee, how ironic, um, General Robert E. Lee, mind you, uh, put it on loan to the exposition. In 1778, Washington used two marquees while traveling alongside his troops, one for dining and another for his personal office and sleeping quarters. The fabric that Moore found was part of the Washington dining canopy. So this is his own personal dining tent. Pretty cool, I guess, when you're the president, you, uh, you certainly get some perks of the job, right? Skick certified the authenticity of the fabric after examining the piece. So the guy must be a pretty good expert, right? Artifact came with a note referencing the 1907 exposition. If I had bought it, I would have immediately looked up that exposition. I would have got that history on it and uh, would have been pretty confident in buying it at that point. We took a close look at the weave of the fabric and the style and shape of the red wool, edging with the assistance from textile conservator Virginia Whelan. He added these details matched the dining marquee. We're able to determine that this fragment was cut away from the scalloped edge of the roof of the dining marquee. The expert noted that the fabric has darkened over the years due to the accumulation of dirt and dust. It wasn't well taken care of. Probably not well taken care of inside of that Goodwill uh, location either. The red wool binding on the edge has faded a bit, but it retains most of its color, he added. The, uh, where's it say? Whoop, 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 whoop. The fragment's edges are frayed from being cut away from the marquee. Skick added that finding artifacts such as this is very unusual, especially through a Goodwill online auction. You ain't kidding. Prior to the discovery of this fragment, nine fragments of Washington tents were known to exist, all in the collections of museums or other institutions. The Museum of the American Revolution, for example, owns three fragments of Washington tents. And there may be more fragments out there. Go look for them, guys. The fabric is currently on display at the Philadelphia Museum, along with other fragments of Washington's tents. Historians are still actively investigating the piece, and Skick said that the museum is researching who, Joe, who John Burns, the man who supposedly wrote the handwritten note, was. Bowen said that seeing the artifact in the museum was an honor. Seeing as part of the exhibit was so exciting, and it's been a very emotional day for both of us. So there is, you know, a basically part of George Washington's history. Pretty crazy. This stuff pops up from time to time in Goodwills and Salvation Armies. You'll see Thomas Jefferson. You'll see George Washington. You'll see Abraham Lincoln stuff. I've seen Declaration of Independence uh, copies, certified copies. They made like 20 or 30 of them to send out to all the states. Um, this sort of stuff is rare, but it happens. And they don't put a price on what this may be worth. So I did a little digging because Clearly, none of them have sold because they're all in museums. And I found some other George Washington pieces of merchandise, like what was supposedly a piece of his hair, a lock of his hair, uh, you know, one day. And a piece of a suit jacket and actually a full-on George Washington tattered suit that he wore. All of them in the six figures. The suit in the seven figures, million dollar asking price in a museum. It actually appeared on Pawn Stars, I think, one year, and they were asking like two million for it or a million. Whether it sold for that or not, regardless, pieces of things that are George Washington's, six figures. A full suit, million bucks, fine. But just little pieces of suit jackets, 100 grand, 150 grand. This piece of a tent, it's not directly something he wore, but it's something he used. It could be worth fifty dollars to $100,000 if somebody wanted to sell it out on the open market. Maybe more. Who knows? But it seems like this guy's a history and a collector, and he's just going to keep it and let it be displayed in museums and hang on to it. Uh, maybe pass it on to his kids or his grandkids if he has any, and uh, that's pretty cool. So history buff. I thought this video was fun. It came from the Goodwill auction site, so figured I could plug them for you there in case you could find anything to flip uh, here in the reselling world on that. And uh, yeah, any more cool stories like this, please email them to me, rockstarflipper at gmail.com. I love seeing this stuff. Even if I don't make a video on it, I love reading it. I appreciate you guys sending it to me. So thank you so much for being here. Uh, it is Prime Day, the end of Prime Day when I'm posting this, uh, Wednesday, July 17th, 2024. I'll put some links to some of our favorite items. Please go check them out. If you're going to buy anything tonight on Amazon Prime, please use the link first. It helps support the channel, helps what I do here, and uh, we get a little commission for the affiliate link uh, no matter what you buy. If you buy an item that we link, Great. If you don't and you buy something else, that still helps us and it uh, it counts towards the commission. So thank you for that as well. Subscribe to the channel. Come back, watch future videos. Until the next one, I'll see you next time.